It was you who took control of the BBA. <gasps> I'm sorry, the BBA doesn't really exist anymore. But we at the Vega organization would gladly welcome you with open arms, Tyson. Forget it, Boris! Huh? Gladly welcome, as if. I don't know what you're scheming, but I do know this, pal. I won't let you get away with it! It's understandable that you feel this way. Considering all that's happened... in my less than honorable past. Huh? But Vega is a world-class organization. It upholds the ideals of Beyblading. Heh, <laughs> I'm supposed to believe that. Come inside. Let me prove it to you. Right this way, kids. Single file, please. You'll huh? have to wait outside, ma'am. What's the big idea? I'm sorry, but only Beybladers are allowed in the facility at this time. I may not be a Beyblader, but I support my team. I'm their goddess of inspiration, Hillary! <laughs> the public opening is next week. You can come back uh, then. Uh, come back? Speak your superiors! Put me down! <laughs> You're gonna hear from my lawyer! <laughs> On opening day, we'll be doing a free live concert! <gasps> oh no! I'm leaving! My fans hate saying goodbye! I'm not your fan! Wow! Vega's lobby is bigger than the entire training room at the old BBA! Wow! They even have moving sidewalks! Jump anyway. He's a real charmer, Daichi. Well, a while back, Boris was the leader of a team called the Demolition Boys. Tala and Brian used to be on it. During the World Championships, something sinister was going on behind the scenes. Boris was trying to take over the world by training bladers to be soldiers in his Beyblade army. Fortunately, we beat them and Boris was sent packing. And that's the last we heard of him. Until now. So you can see why we don't trust him. Mm. Whoever messes with my friends messes with me! I'll show them the real meaning of let it rip! <laughs> it's best uh, if we lay off until we see what he's up to, Daichi! Aw, but I hate waiting! Can I at least give him a wedgie or something? <sighs> Look at this training room! You could land a jet plane in here! Maybe two! They've got tons of equipment, top of the line stuff, and with all those trainers around, every babe later gets expert advice. This place is incredible! My mom's headquarters, where she works with the PPB All Stars, doesn't hold a candle to this facility. And this is <laughs> only part of it. The educational training we provide our bladers includes things like nutrition and even sleep therapy. My goal is to establish similar facilities in every major city around the world. Facilities? <laughs> Don't you mean Beyblade Soldier Camp Sergeant Boris? Don't jump to any conclusions, Tyson. These Bega trainees aren't being forced to do anything against their will. That's what he wants you to believe, Chief. He's pulling a fast one somehow. Nice try, dude. Why don't you just admit it? You're up to something, aren't you? Indeed, I am up to something, Tyson. But it's not what you think. I'm a changed man. Huh? 
Just let me explain my motives and you'll see why joining Vega will be the best thing you ever do. After my villainous plan for world domination was exposed, my life was in a shambles. I wandered across the Siberian wasteland for weeks on end. I racked my brain trying to figure out why my team lost and what I did wrong. My ravaged mind and frostbitten body suffered as I searched for the answers, but came up empty. I was at my lowest ebb. Weary and dejected from my travels, I arrived at a small town on the outskirts of Siberia. My soul searching was fruitless. I was ready to forget about Beyblading forever. But then, in this small town, out in the middle of nowhere, I heard it. <gasps> <laughs> what do you think of this move? <laughs> I can do one better. Take that! It was the sound of children Beyblading, carefree and innocent. They were filled with enthusiasm. To my world-weary eyes, it was an incredible sight. Their love of the game was pure, just like yours was, and still is. I was moved beyond words. The answer I was searching for was right there all along. Finally, I realized Beyblading is about the blader's will to do battle, to improve himself, and to succeed. A player's individuality must be respected. Only when that happens can superior bladers rise from the masses and make their mark. The way I used to think, it's no surprise that I failed. To fulfill my wicked ambitions, I really did treat Beybladers like soldiers, like mindless chess pieces without souls. <sighs> How foolish I was to be so arrogant and unthinking. The honor of the sport, the virtue of the kids who play, the dreams of everyone. I trampled on them like a rampaging beast. So badmouth me all you want. Hold nothing back because I deserve every ill word you say about me. But I'm making amends for what I did. It's the reason why this new organization exists. It's why I created the Beyblade Entertainment Global Association. Vega. All over the world, there are children who have an innate talent for Beyblading, but their skills remain untapped because they haven't the opportunity to be exposed to the game. It's a tragedy of extreme proportions, which has to be rectified. Thanks to Vega, they have a place to Beyblade in the best environment. Access to the most advanced Beyblades. Participation in extreme Bey battles. And all within a professional league that spans the globe. Don't you see? I did it for the children. That's why it's so important that you join this league, Tyson. If you, the world champion, were involved in this venture, it would be an inspiration for kids around the world to become pros. Uh, that's enough. If you're such an angel now, then how come you fired Mr. Dickinson? Huh? Explain that. Ah. Uh. Well, the truth is, all revamped companies must reorganize, so I asked him to step down. Step down? Why? He was good at his job. Indeed. As soon as my staff is confirmed, I want to hire him back. As an honorary advisor. How generous of you. Now are you satisfied that Vega is worthy? Not a chance, Boris. You can blab all you want, but you don't fool me for a second, wise guy. You haven't changed at all. If anything, you're a sleazier slime ball than ever for laying it on so thick. You've got some nerve trying to pass yourself off as a good guy. If this is the old put Tyson on a coat rack joke, it's not. <sighs> Already. Listen, be careful! Fun's over, pal! Put me down! Now! That guy's huge! Uh, you can uh, say that uh, again! Uh, listen up, Tiny. You got a problem with the head of Vega? Well, duh. Your purple-haired boss is the biggest crook I know. Truth hurts, huh? You're wrong, Pipsqueak. He's not a crook. Crook, crook, crook! Apologize to Boris now or else! Fat chance of that, huh? You are impossible! Yep. Whoa! That's gotta hurt! Let's settle this blader style, man. <laughs> You're on. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, Junior. Crusher's the name and the game. So you talk big, too. Well, talk is cheap. I'll let my Beyblade do the talking. 
Gentlemen, a friendly exhibition match seems to be in order. My staff will prepare a stadium immediately. So the world champion is here in the flesh. What do you think? Hmm. Leo Tyson knows what he's doing. This challenge may be even too big for him to face. Typical Tyson. We get invited to the new Bega building and within minutes he gets into an argument with Crusher, one of their resident Beybladers. Now they're gonna battle. This kind of thing happens all the time. <sighs> Tyson's always got to be the center of attention. If he wins, you can tell these new recruits that you gave him pointers. When you put it that way, Max, it's only right of me to make sure these bladers know who Tyson's real influence is. Go, Tyson! Initiating performance scan. This Crusher guy might be the real deal. Let's see how strong he really is. This ought to be good. <laughs> that launcher is gigantic! It must weigh a hundred pounds! Talk about shoulder strain. Hmm, bigger isn't necessarily better. Tyson, slam him! Three, two, two one. one, let it rip! For such a heavy duty shot, he's slow. Rick from the PvP All Stars is stronger than he is. No argument there, Daichi. For an offensive style Beyblade, it's displaying a severe lack of pride, huh? What's going on? There's no way Crusher can be this weak. He's one of Boris's bladers. No point in waiting around. Let's get things rolling. Go, Dragon! That's some serious spinning force. Check it out, Brooklyn. He's light on his feet, his maneuvering and dashing capabilities are good. No wonder he's the champion. That said... Dude, you call that an attack? I don't believe it! He's shredding that pillar! Making it drop like a head on a nail! It's about time Crusher showed his true power to that kid. But even with that, it's not over. This battle has yet to be settled. With our experience, it takes a lot to surprise us. But there's no denying that Crusher is one of the biggest powerhouses we've ever faced. Wasting that pillar proved it. It's like he wasn't even trying. How is that possible? Not so boy sure is something. That's for sure. He's like a runaway tank crushing everything that comes into its path. The pure offensive ability of Crusher's Beyblade is stunning. The sheer power, the destructive force. Most opponents' Beyblades would be steamrolled by it. Just steamroll him right back! Dragoon Galaxy Turbo Avey! Why am I feeling so much pressure in this battle? It's like I'm going head to head against a giant beast that's staring me down. I've battled a million times, but I've never felt this kind of pressure before. What's wrong, champion? Uh, Stop running and fight! Huh? What's your deal, Crusher? Why would anybody want to blade for someone with such a shady history as Boris? You must have some reason. What is it? To become a professional! You can't make a pile of money, kid, unless you're a famous probe later. Money? It's about money? You better believe it. I'm battling now for my sister! Your sister? Dragoon Galaxy Turbo, if Tyson remains distracted and doesn't keep an eye on it... Uh, he better get his focus back in fast! Let it rip, baby! This guy just trying to psych me out? It's hard to tell. He's got some incredible power, but there's something about him I can't put my finger on. He 
He's letting his mind wander. <gasps> I have to win this battle for my sister no matter what. She's been in the hospital for months, but the treatment she needed was too pricey. There was no way I could make enough money to cover it with my job, and my family was counting on me to help her. I was at my wit's end, angry alone, but right at that moment when things were at their lowest, a ray of hope came into my life. And his name was Boris. He recognized my untapped potential immediately. He knew I had the strength to succeed, but not the know-how. Through Vega, Boris gave me the equipment and guidance that I sorely needed. Now I'm ready to become a professional and make the money I need to help my sister get well. She's the one I'm doing this for, and I'm going to succeed! Yeah! Ah! Tyson! He's starting to buckle under the force of Crusher's attack. He can't hold out much longer. Ah! Tyson won't give up. He never does. This guy is spirited, that's for sure. He's so determined to win. That's what's giving him his power. No one wreaks this kind of devastation unless he's pouring in everything he's got, heart and soul. Crusher may be blading for someone I don't respect, but I do respect him. For a newbie, he's a top-notch competitor. But so am I. Huh? Huh? Where are you going, Brooklyn? The battle isn't over yet. Tyson is gonna win. <laughs> is that so? Trust me, this match is already over. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's making a comeback. match had gone on any longer, I don't know what would have happened. Guess I just outlasted him. Hmm, I'd say. Vega's training its bladers pretty well, don't you think? They're not slacking, that's for sure. Huh? Splendid! That was an impressive battle, Tyson. An exemplary display of power, skill, and passion. Highly entertaining. The reigning champion never fails to disappoint. Next time you battle here, I'll prepare a sturdier dish. Be honest with me now. The way that Crusher battled? Did he look like a mindless soldier without a soul who was being controlled by me? I extend my invitation again for you to join Vega. Not for me, not for the organization, but for the children out there whose future would be much brighter because of Beyblading. Will you join us? I'll give it to you straight, Boris. I didn't trust you before. And I'm still not sure I do, but there's one thing I do know. Crusher is a passionate Beyblader with a true fighting spirit. And he's honorable too, because he didn't try to cheat. A good start. At least I've made a favorable impression. For you to say those things makes me believe that you will one day join Vega. Indeed. Uh, 
I wonder what Tyson managed to learn about Vega. Security guards! Who do they think they are anyway? Treating me like 